Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how we can create a script in uh, Linux. And uh, we will also see how we can execute our script and we will uh, learn how we can write, for example, our first hello world script. Now scripting in general is really, uh, you know, deep concept and uh, I can make a separate tutorial about scripting itself, right? So in this uh, video, I just want to give you the brief introduction about scripting and how you can use scripting so that you can uh, build on that knowledge and you can, you know, learn about scripting in different video or different, uh, you know, so from this different source, right? So first of all, what is a script? A script is a text file that contains a sequence of command for a Linux based operating system. So let's see how we can create a script. So I'm going to open our terminal first of all. And in this terminal, first of all, let's say we want to create a script on the desktop. So I will just change the directory to the desktop. And then I will use our nano editor for creating a script. So for creating a script, you just need to write nano and then the script name. So for example, I will name my script as my script is itself now it's enough to give this uh, name uh, my script here but it's a good practice to give an extension of sh here for uh, you know just showing the user that it's a script okay so i'm just uh, adding the extension here but if you don't add this uh, extension it will work fine so it's uh, not going to be different if you don't add this extension now, first of all, uh, we need to know where our bash uh, is located on our system. So what I'm going to do is before creating a file or uh, let's just create a file and then uh, we are going to uh, see further. So nano and then the name of the script and press enter and it's going to open this uh, kind of editor to you, right? Now, first uh, line which you write in a script is this uh, line which you need to use or it's a good practice uh, to use this so first is you need to write hash and then this exclamation mark which is called hash bang and then the location of your bash now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a different terminal and then we will uh, see the location of our bash uh, where is our bash right now what we are going to do is just do which and then just write bash here okay and then press enter and it gives this answer so this which command we are going to learn later what is this which command and what it does is but just open a new terminal and just write which bash and it's going to give you the location where bash is located so this is the location so just uh, take this location and after this hash bang which uh, we have written here you need to write this location so forward slash bin forward slash bash okay which is this location here okay so we just uh, needed to know the location and wh whatever the location is you just need to write here after this hash bang okay and now you can close the other terminal so this tells uh, the you know interpreter that uh, this is a script which is using bash and then as i have told you the script is a sequence of commands so for example i can uh, normally write ls for a listing for example let's do long listing with this script first of all right so just hash bang and then the long listing which is uh, which you write on the terminal it will list out the you know files or directory on your terminal right now in order to save it you just need to write uh, control o and press enter which will save it and then control x to exit so you can see here our script is created now in order to execute the script first of all let's see uh, when we uh, execute it what happens so normally uh, you need to give the permission execute permission to your script 
but if you do it without giving the permission let's see what happens so to execute a script you just need to write dot forward slash and then the name of your script something like uh, this so my script right so just write my script here dot sh okay and then when you execute it it says permission denied because your script doesn't have the execute permission when you create it okay so in order to give the execute permission you need to just give the execute permission to it so you can just write uh, chmod plus x for uh, giving the execute permission to user group and uh, the others and then your script name for example okay and then press enter and now your uh, script has the execute permission right so in the last three video we have been learning how to give the permission to the script and that's why i'm uh, i was uh, you know creating those video to uh, you know let you know how you can change the permission of a file now this will uh, change the permission of a file to the execute so you can uh, execute uh, this script by giving this permission now once again when we do uh, dot uh, forward slash and then the script name and press enter what it does is it's going to list out the long listing of your desktop right so you can see let me just make it a little bit bigger and once again uh, execute it again and you can see it has done the long listing of uh, on the desktop so you can see we have three files on the desktop and each have their own permission so first is the directory other is the file dot text and third one is the myscript.sh which have all the execute permission here okay so this is a simple uh, for example hello world script you can write us uh, let's uh, modify our script and uh, let's see what else we can do so single command we can uh, um, you know you can ask why we need script for executing a single command so let's go to the script again so i will just write nano and then my script and this is a very basic example i have given you but with this uh, scripting you can execute a you know sequence of command not only one command but for example let's do for example i will do ls and then i'll echo something and let's echo hello world here okay and then i will just save it control o and press enter and then control x and once again when i execute this script it first of all list out uh, the contents of the directory and then it prints the hello world which is using the echo command right now i have shown you in the echo command tutorial that we can also create a variable in uh, you know for using it in the echo so for example i will create a variable let's say it's called uh, string is equal to and i will assign something to it let's say hello world itself something like this okay and uh, with echo you can uh, just call this variable by using this dollar symbol so just write something like this okay so string and using uh, the dollar symbol before the variable name you can echo it okay so i will just save it and press enter execute uh, i will exit it and then once again execute the command and it's doing the same so you can see here in this script we are performing the you know series of command and this is what scripting is so you can write uh, you know sequence of uh, you know command here and execute it and so, scripting is much advanced than this so it has uh, functions and it has loops and if conditions so uh, you know it's a different topic to learn scripting but i wanted to know uh, let you know that uh, this kind of scripting exists so you can build on this knowledge and learn about scripting because it's so really uh, you know important if you uh, want to pursue your uh, career in linux for example right so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now